Absolutely. Um, Martin Luther King did so much for our country, um, but he was a special source of hope and inspiration for the black community. Um, I'm thinking about back when he was alive, um, or just before he passed away, only 24 percent, Alveda, of black children were born out of wedlock. And today, that number is approaching 70 percent. Yesterday, I had the um, ex-NFL player Jack Brewer on, and he told me that he thought fatherlessness was the civil rights issue of our time. So we hear a lot of other issues being talked about um, on how to help the African-American community. And yet, Jack Brewer said the civil rights issue is fatherlessness. Would you, do you think your dad, your grandfather would, or your uncle would agree with that? I have a saying where peripherals collide, convergence is imminent. And so life, the sanctity of life from the womb to the tomb, the little baby who needs to be born and when the baby is born, that mother and father really definitely should both be there. Jack is so right. Fathers, have to come back into the central part of the family. And not just the black fathers, but all fathers across mm -hmm. America and around the world. Fatherhood is very, very important. Our babies would be even safer in the womb and at birth if the father and the mother are there united working together to raise them. So Jack, I believe, is on to something. We're together at AFPI as well. Yeah, absolutely. And you're right to point out that fatherlessness is not um, just in the African-American community. It has become a cultural epidemic. Um, yes. Alvida, always so great to hear from you. And thank you for reminding us about your uncle, his legacy, and his impact on our most wonderful country. Thank you, Alvida. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. God bless.